I'm afraid to admit it, but I wailed. I went and got the Moonlight Gift Rewards. But you know what also we did, guys? We also decided to buy some Cores of Transcendence. And I know how much you love it when we open Cores of Transcendence. So here we are. And because we like to gamble, we are going to do it in Fate. With a 6.67% chance to earn ourselves a Transcending Sphere. Now you might be thinking, hang on a second, MK. The thumbnail... It said 100. That's only 92. Are you clickbaiting us? No, 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 no. We'll get nine extra cores of transcendence as rewards, and we'll pop them out for the final 10. So, my friends, let us begin. You're probably thinking, wait a minute, MK, why is there a Tix and an Amon Ra? You've already got Tix and Amon Ra. Well, we've decided we want to build a second Amon Ra, and we want to build a second Tix because we're just that cool. And what better way to get them? Then in the Gate of the Void. In fact, let me just run you through how many copies of Ticks we have right now. We have one here, this little fella. We have another in the bag over here. That takes us to two. And as you, many of you know, my bag is beautiful with tons of chests and things. And that's probably another, what, four copies, I think. I can work backwards and show you. Um, no, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's a Ticks. So that's one. And this is two more ticks, so that's two, three. And here's a ticks. That's four. And I think that's us. I don't think this is a ticks. Oh, it is. That's five. Oh, of course, because the moonlight rewards. Ha ha. So I have five plus the ticks that takes me to six. And then seven. Yeah, so that's seven ticks I have. Let's get some more. And in fact, if I don't have to open the chests, that's even better. So let's go to the compass of transcended. Let's get some good heroes. Let's do it. So, here comes the first ten. Pa pow Oh, okay, we didn't get any of the things we wanted there. But we did get a Transcending Sphere, so that's nice. And there's a prediction in chat right now saying, Will MK get above average crystals? Six equals average. I assume you mean these Transcending Spheres. So, yeah, the, they're predicting whether I can get more than six of these. I like that. I was about to say to you guys on YouTube, do you think I'm going to get more? Let's find out. There's one. So let's pop it out again. Okay, we didn't get one there. And we haven't got any of our heroes, although we did get an Asmodel. That's pretty pog. All right, let's keep going. Oh, we got another one. And a Russell. Oh, okay. Hey there, Russell. And a Penny as well. Nice. All right, let's carry on, my friends. Let's get lucky. Whoa! What is that? What in the world? Holy! Oh, my God! Let's go! Oh! An Asmodel and three transcending spheres? Oh my word! Hello, baby! That's incredible! That's insane! Is that like what five we've had already? And we've done four. Jeez! Man, oh man! Let's go again! Oh! No! <laughs> oh, there's two more! There's two more! Boys! As I have said before, and I will say again, suckle on the teat of success. Man, I'm the luckiest streamer on planet Idol. Oh, guys. That's insane. In 20 cores, we just got five spheres of transcendence. Dude, I'm speechless. That's insane. Can we get more? Yes, we can! There's another one! And there's a Tix! Holy cow! Beautiful! Let's keep going! <laughs> okay, there's some much-deserved food. Okay, yeah, fine. Oh, man. Oh, I can't believe that. That was insane. And there's an Amon Ra copy! Mwah. Welcome, Amon Ra. Get inside. And here is our penultimate ten with another Tix copy. 
absolute beauty. Wow. All right, let's go claim our achievements real fast. Just gonna cash these in. Grabbing these. Oh, man. You know what? Forget whatever I said about cores of Transcended. These things are insane. These are amazing. Wow. All right, here we go. Final 10. Do you think we're going to get ourselves another one? I think so. Let's go. Oh, guys, there it is. It's another Transcending Sphere. And another Tix. And a Faith Blade. And a Michelle. That's... I'm, I'm sorry, but guys, anyone that ever said... Guidance is better than fate. I'm living proof. Okay, the real question is now, what, what are we doing with the rest of this stuff? How many would I need to open to get a Transcendent Hero? That's actually a question we should consider. I need to open seven of them? Yeah. That's very not good. Because guys, now that the arc is out, right? It's just better to imprint your heroes. So let's open some of these. Yeah, let's open all of them. Let's do it. Convert. Boom. All into Stellar Shards. Boop. Now, that went from not a lot to three million. Oh, so good. This is to be continued. I'm not gonna go doing anything too seriously. As you can see, my monthly events end very soon, and I've maxed fusion. So, we will go build some food when my monthly events reset. And then, my friends, we shall imprint these heroes. So this is to be continued. This is not over. We're here now a little later on with all of our monthly events reset. So what we need to do is we need to fuse 5 stars, 6 stars, 9 stars, and 10 stars to make as much progress as possible here. And then also, with all those 10 stars I hope to make, we can imprint some heroes. Now, we have a lot of resources. I mean a lot. Look at all these four-star heroes I can have. 3,870 four-stars as well. Combine that with all the five-star heroes and all the four-star heroes. We need to get this sorted. So, first thing I'm going to do is we are just going to pop out whatever heroes we can, depending on what a faction needs. So, we've got a lot of three-stars here in the forest faction. So we're going to pull some four stars out and just work on the forest faction for a little bit. In fact, let's pull out as many four stars as I possibly can. Look, there's 57 gray-eyed copies. That's insane. That's just filled up the entire bag. Bonkers. So let's get fusing. We've managed to make a bunch of 9 stars, which we've used to make a 10-star Nakia. And also, a 10-star Dragon Slayer. And we've also got this 9-star Rosa, ready to be made to 10-star. And also a 9-star Walter, in the exact same position. So what we're going to do with one of these 10-stars, is we are going to feed it to our ticks. To make him, that's right, Void 3. Now you might be thinking, his passive he gets a Void 3 doesn't offer him anything for killing stuff, it just makes him better after he dies with Revenging Wrath. But however, my friends, he will get more attack. So we want to upgrade this attack node right here so that he can deal lots and lots of damage. And I will just hold this down so we can zoom through. There you go, 30. Boom. Using some of those imprints we managed to get from our cores. So here we have Avoid 3 Ticks with a maxed attack imprint which we're going to be sending in to Seal Land Shadow. Beautiful. Now, with him, we're going to be sending in some baby Tixes. And people have been saying, hey, 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 MK, Kiss of Ghost works. Now, we do know Kiss of Ghost works as an artifact for doing this. But what I want to try is I want to try a bunch of baby Tixes along with an aggressive Tix that is using Punisher of Immortal, Crit Crit Attack, and for his healing, he's going to be using Balance Strike. Interesting hypothesis. I want to see if it works. It might not, but it's definitely worth a try. So let's send ourselves in. Seal Land 18 is the first thing we shall face. And we'll put all our ticks in like this. So baby ticks and big ticks. Big ticks, little ticks. And we shall use... Let's use Dragon, just so we can get some nice cheeky stun. 
increases our crit. Let's see what happens. Let's go. So all our baby ticks is slapping out there. Not getting any CC. That's kind of sad. Let's get more active skills going. There we go. All right. Okay. Ticks died. Solid. Let's try once more. If he dies consistently again, we'll give him unbending will. Because one problem is the ticks does die. And that kind of sucks. Oh, wow. He died. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Ticks squishy. Not good. Unpog. All right. <laughs> okay. In that case, let's give him unbending will. And uh, tidy things up a little bit. So there you go, guys. We tried. Science happened. We failed. Obviously, doing things that don't work is better than doing things we know will work. Because at least we can prove that they don't work. So that you guys don't waste your time doing the same thing. Alright. No, Tix is dying way too fast here. Make him chunky. I think that's a good idea. Making him chunky. Let's give him HP. Let's make this boy fat. Again, it might not work. We're not here, though, to prove things that do work. We're here to find out things that don't work. So again, let's try it out. Let's see what happens. Here we go. Again, chunky ticks this time. All right, he died. Okay, unbending will's gonna help, if only momentarily. All right, no success there. Okay, all right. In that case, guys, we shall give him this fabled kiss of ghost that everybody has spoken so much about, and we're very excited to see. So let's go to Warmest Workshop because the event is here, and we shall destroy our Punisher of Mortal. Which before we do, we must go take off ticks. Give me. One moment. So let's destroy our upgraded Punisher of Immortal. There we go. Regress. Thank you. I'll have all my stuff back. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. Let's make a kiss a ghost. Lovely jubbly. Choose. Thank you very much. That's glittery. Let's make it radiant. And there we have it. A Radiant Kiss of Ghost. Lovely. So now, let's go give this to Tix. And again, see if he can do this with his baby comrades. Excellent. Okay. So let's try again. Tix avec le baby Tix. Here we go. All right. Little Tix is not getting much CC there. Although they are getting stomped themselves, so I think we need to give them a little bit more. And by a little bit more, what I mean is energy. So we're seeing that these baby tixes aren't surviving. So, giving every single one of them magic source is probably a fairly pog choice. Because at least then we have a ton of active skills with good chances of CC. Let's go. Well, we're not getting CC from them. That kind of sucks. At least our big ticks managed to CC. And he's dying. All right, we'll try again. Oh, I think we're dead. Oh, no. We're hanging on in there. Go on, Tix. You got this, buddy. Oh, yeah. He did it. Oh, my word. I can't believe that. <laughs> oh, lovely. What a good kid. All right, let's go again. Seal and 19. Can this be repeated? Oh, he's hanging on in there just about. 
Nice. Excellent. Come on, Tix. Oh, let's go. Yes! Oh, my word. <laughs> Tix with baby Tix, guys. You didn't expect that. You were all non-believers in chat saying, You need more CC. You need more of this, more of that. There you go. All right, CLN20. Ticks with baby Tixers. Let's make it happen. Okay, these guys are hitting harder. Tix is having a much less fun time. We're getting a good bit of CC from Dragon there. That's nice. Oh, dear. Stay in there, buddy. No, okay. That didn't go too well. We'll try again. I think it's doable, though. Yeah, that one didn't go too well. That was a pretty rough round. All right. I know it might not be the most optimal thing, but we will keep on trying. Can I show the healing stats? I will do. We shall put those healing stats up. Hi, MK. I hope you're doing fantastic. Oh, I'm always doing fantastic, buddy. Thanks for the uh, thanks for the message and thanks for the sub. Three months in a row. Okay. Right, we need some good CC from our ticks and from the dragon. You're giving the boss a round one active. Yeah, I know. I know. But it's only hitting our little ticks, so it's fine. So it's taking the active skill off our big ticks. Which isn't actually so bad. Oh, there we go! There we go! He's got this! There it is! Ha <laughs> ha! You non-believers! Eat that! That is Seal Land 20. Cleared. Baby ticks and big ticks. Not a single other hero needed. Yep. Kiss of Ghost greater than all. Absolutely agreeing. Oh, I forgot to show you the healing stats. My bad. But either way, what a champ. All that healing. So good. So strong. That was so nice. Well done, ticks. Lots of people saying we needed camets. We needed ice trolls. Nah, 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 nah. Just a bunch of baby ticks. And a little bit of luck from Dragon with the stun. All was fine. Nice one. To end today's video, I've been a little bit of a whale. I bought the Legion package just because it contains 10 cores of transcendence. Combine that with the 5 cores of transcendence I managed to pick up earlier. We're going to be blasting out some cores. Obviously, we're going to do it in Fate because we've been lucky here and we'll be lucky again. So are you ready, guys? Let's get Amon Ra's. Let's get Tix's. Let's go. Let's go. Let's draw an M. Here we go. Oh! We got one of the Transcendence cores. Excellenti, or Crystals of Transcendence, whatever they're called. Hearts, June calls them. We'll go claim this core right here. And we've got six more to do. Oh yeah, baby. One at a time. It's a Gru. All right. One more. M for good luck. It's a storm, dude. Okay, let's try again. It's the bone, General. Come on, do me proud. Well, do me proud, baby. It's another bone, General. Alrighty. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Emily. Whew. And here we are with the final one. Will it be a transcendent crystal thingy, my bob? No, it's a Walter. Oh, dear me. All right. Either way, let's go to the bag. Let's open this fella. And we're going to convert it into 250k thingies. Yes. There we go. That takes us to 300k. Now, what we could do here... Oh, we'll do it. It's, it's content. We'll remove the imprints from our carries. So let's just quickly do that as well. Whoops, wrong button. Either way, we'll get it back. I don't think we've got enough. My friends, I am a doubter. 
I don't think we have enough to do it. One, two, three. Holy crap, I've got nothing left. You have milked me dry. I have nothing. Either way, we'll put in one of these fellas. That is our void four ticks. But guys, look at me now. I've just got 10 star dummies I can't use. What am I supposed to do with that? Well, my guess is I'm going to hopefully try rebuild one of our carries. I don't know if we can. Let's find out. So far, so good. Oh, yes, just about. Very good. Excellent. All right, so actually, we're all good. We have 10k to spare. Nice. So I've got a void one carry and a void four ticks. Seems a bit wonky. I'd rather have a bunch of void two heroes for the arc. But Tartarus insists this is for the best. That this will do the greatest performance we can possibly muster. So there you have it. Void 4 ticks, guys. My first Void 4 hero. Round of applause. Stonks. Yeah, I think stonks is the right word. Backwards gains. Mmm. Absolutely. Either way, guys, if you want to check out more stuff like this, join us at twitch.tv forward slash mkxjump, where we build heroes. We often do silly experiments. I chat about life things that aren't even idle heroes related, and we just have a grand old time. Until next time, though, guys, happy idling.